You are tuned to the 24 into 7 channel of All India Radio. Continuing with a new series, Know Your Sport. Today we are going to talk about the bodybuilding and we have in our studios President of the Indian Bodybuilding Federation, Mr. Arvind Madhok, talking to Nitish Aroda. Friends, continuing with our series on Know Your Sports, we are taking up to one particular event that is becoming very popular among youth. Whether it qualifies as a sport or not, this is uh, what we are going to unfold in today's program. I am uh, joined by Mr. Arvind Madhok. So, welcome to our program. My first question, how does bodybuilding qualify as a sport? Sir, bodybuilding, if uh, we start with this, any of uh, our sports events in this country, so the, any game which is uh, associated with strength, so muscle power is required. And muscle power only comes with the strength. And strength is directly associated with the muscle. So, bodybuilding when we come to the muscle making muscle building that comes as a bodybuilding directly indirectly the bodybuilding is a sports which is directly indirectly related with every game in this country or anywhere in the world so if you are participating in any game right. or any sport you need to work on your body you need to work on your muscles for a particular sport could be a specific muscles but for bodybuilding, I think the entire body and entire muscles are needed to be spruced up. Absolutely correct, sir. I'll just clarify one very important thing. The countries, those who are having athletes with a good physique, they are dominating in sports everywhere in the world. You name the country, you see the physique of the sportsman. So why? Because the muscle power, without muscle power, you can't get a strength for any sports. It may be any sports. So bodybuilding basically is for muscle building. In bodybuilding, we are concentrating on complete body parts, complete muscles of the body. Whereas in few games, you have to concentrate on the shoulders, some are biceps, some are legs. So that's a different thing. So there you need to work out more specific on that particular muscle group and leave the other muscle group a little lighter. Which means if the game is a language, bodybuilding are the alphabets. Absolutely, correct. There is a craze now among youth to build their body. Not necessarily they are qualifying for any sports or any games particular, but bodybuilding in itself has become a very big craze and there are competitions and championships in it. What is the right age to start? Because we see that uh, in social media, the first thing that uh, a youngster, if he into puberty or even still not into his puberty, mm -hmm. He would uh, try to remove his shirt and show mm -hmm. his chest and put those <laughs> photographs on the social media. So what is the right age to start? Are they doing some harm to themselves if they start very early? Well, actually, the right age for the bodybuilding, what we say is that you can start after 16 because about... Uh, after 16? After 16. So friends, note this down. The right age to start bodybuilding is after 16. I'll clarify because uh, when you reach at the age of 18 to 19, your testosterone level of the body is very high. That's in the peak. And for muscle building, for your strength, for your bone mass, the testosterone level is required at any stage. Without that, there's no bodybuilding, no muscle building. Before 16, you can st start with the strength training, fitness training, flexibility, free hand exercises, which are very important and which really leads you to a very strong uh, mental growth too and physical growth. I'll just clarify one very important point here, rather you can say is a myth. People have a myth here that when you start bodybuilding, your height will not increase. You may be a dwarf man or like that. It's nothing like that. I am about 6'3". So I started my bodybuilding at the age of, I think, about 16, 17 years uh, of age. That is the genetics which really controls your height and not the bodybuilding in any way. So you said 16 is the ideal age to start. Uh, is this true for uh, the women as well? Because the girls are also coming into bodybuilding these days and there are a lot of championships in which, in which girls are participating. Correct, sir. At 16, 17, you can start the bodybuilding. So it uh, really goes with both of them, both the genders. So then uh, let's now move on to the championships. What kind of championships are there in bodybuilding in India and uh, world over? In India, we have got uh, senior bodybuilding, which has got about 10 categories. Junior bodybuilding championship, which has got about 6 categories, weight categories I'm talking about. Men's sports physique, 2 categories. Men fitness physique, one open category. Men athletic physique, one open category. Now we come on the women part. So the lot of women now have started participating in uh, bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is basically the name is the bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is associated with now fitness also. Fitness is, I mean, a big name which is coming up with the bodybuilding now. So in women categories, we have women bodybuilding, two categories. 
we have got in with women fitness physique junior one open category and senior two categories women sports model physique that is two categories and there's a latest thing which we have started about a, two years back that is ladies sports model physique above 30 years one open category anybody who wants to participate who is above 30 years can come in this category to talk about this categories are they like age categories or weight categories also we have got height categories somewhere somewhere are the weight categories and somewhere is the age category age categories we come up with the masters so in masters we have got three categories that is called that is one is 80 below 80 and above 80 the second is that is age no not the no, weight weight I'm weight, weight the, the okay age is 40 to 49 years okay. in masters category okay. 40 to 40. and the weight categories are two below 80 kgs and above 80 kgs then the second weight category is 50 to 60 years and the third weight category is 60 years above that is the masters and in this category there is another category which is called divyang There okay. are two categories in Divyang. That is, the body weight categories are in Divyang is under sixty five kgs and above sixty five kgs. Uh, Mr. Arvind, uh, there is one question which uh, comes into mind that uh, you now have uh, gyms and uh, bodybuilding institutions in almost every city, every town in India. Correct. And there are lots of people who are coming with uh, all kind of championships. how does one identifies which one is the correct recognized championship and which one is the chalta phirta kind of championship wherein they are just only to make money from the athletes so this is a very nice question and especially for the youth of this country those who are getting misguided by a lot of federations and associations this will really help them a lot what are the main criteria for a championship that the federation must be recognized by the ministry of youth and sports of it should be recognized by the uh, central government then you should having it recognized by the state governments in case you are participating in a championship which is not recognized by the government of india or which is not affiliated to the ministry of youth and sports affairs you are just wasting your time and money nothing else because when you come to know that you've been participating in a wrong federation the time has gone that time so basically to see that the federation is registered with or affiliated with or recognized with the government you must visit their website is a sports ministry website anybody can go see what is the weightage of this federation there if it is not non recognized federation do not participate because later on you will not be able to make use of the certificate neither in any sports concession for your admissions anywhere nor any government jobs nothing that paper will be there in your hand and you can do nothing with that and you must have spent a fortune on it yeah that's what it was uh, this is what i said that time may be very late for you to understand because that time you should be very careful for choosing your federation they should be national and state wise affiliated units now comes another question which is how costly is this sport for anybody who wants to really take up uh, body building as a professional sport how costly it is uh, is it manageable for a normal individual or you need to like have some your resources pulled in to be f- match fit body building is uh, you can say it's a costly game the reason being you have to build up muscles and for that you need a very high quality protein diet a lot of natural supplements are also required in this to put on muscle mass so if i say you in figures say it starts from 200 it may go to 1000 and more a per day diet okay because mm-hmm. you have to concentrate on more of the protein diet which is uh, i mean amino acids for your muscle building process so it is that way you can say moderately costly game diet is just one part of it yeah. then you need to have your equipment you need to have your gear and you need to have good gymnasium so that uh, fee and charges couple up with the diet makes it what around uh, 4 4000 per day yeah no, no i what uh, we can what we can add to it that you should have a coach i mean a coach should be such that he can lead you to a particular goal the uh, importance of the coach is very important because if a coach is not there or you are working out in the absence of a coach nobody can guide you you are not going to lead anywhere uh mm-hmm. coach is must your gears are not that much costly i may say because you just need a track suit and few gears but in a gym everything is available but for a coach who but the gym is, fees also is costly yeah 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 the gym the, fees is costly vary from uh, gym yeah, it to can gym. vary from sir 1000 rupees to even 20000 rupees i mean that depends Pal on month. the gym yeah the gym you opt to go for but that is uh, you can say moderately 
uh, starting from 200 300 rupees a month how slowly should one approach bodybuilding uh, these days i think the goals that youngsters set for themselves is that they just want to hit the gym and uh, be like uh, having lot of muscles in let's say a month or two months or three months and uh, that is a point wherein this artificial diet which can be very counterproductive mm -hmm. the steroids and all those things come into play so tell us something about that bodybuilding is a very slow process it's a natural process the same way you put on muscle when you grow up if you try to speed up the process of course you are going to lead up in a very drastic manner somewhere you may have some problems with your liver kidneys and for the youth i would like to give a message bahut dheere chaliye bodybuilding will take some time your muscle maturity will take some time until your muscles are matured they will not reflect proper on the stage so in bodybuilding what i personally suggest 3 se 5 saal ka aapko you should take a time period from 3 to 5 years because if you are going to haste you are going to lose some for sure that is for sure and do not get into trapped with your unnatural diet steroids because the natural supplements the food diet there are a lot of things which you can really explore on directly is go you don't want to go for a 12th exam if you have not passed the 10th class so if you are trying to appear for a 12th class exam of course the results are not going to be good and slow and steady wins you the race and there are n number of categories for n number of age groups yeah so even if you are starting at 16 don't feel that uh, your lifespan as a bodybuilder is only for 4 or 5 years your lifespan is kind of uh, somewhere around 20 25 years correct sir 20... i think this is the only sport wherein you can last for 25 years this is the only sports where you grow when you grow your muscle size grow your muscle maturity grows and you become more and more efficient i mean with the age you progress more uh, the vice versa in other games 21 years till 21 years you can participate in junior category so see if you start at 16 17 you have a lot of time for a junior category by 18 or 19 if you can start participating 2 3 years you can easily participate and then your muscles start growing getting matured which is a technical language so that maturity of the muscle comes with the age span and your workout the quality of the muscles they also comes with the age span with the workout so you mature slowly if you try to haste you are going to end up like anything there's no use that's great so once you've taken to this sport is there any brief resting period also or you have to keep your body fit always it's a, is it a daily responsibility to work on your body muscles or like are there pockets of rest for bodybuilders yeah or they yeah, need yeah. to do it daily pump in iron daily no, no i tell you one thing uh, basically there are a lot of schedules so on schedules you have to concentrate as per your muscle group some muscles are weak like legs sometimes you feel they are weak so you concentrate more on muscle group on an average if i say about a year so in one year you can go for a rest about 2 to 3 months so which is called cooling period your resting period after the championship you can have your salt sugar you can have some fats not a problem so 2 3 months you can rest an average bodybuilder rest about 2 to 3 months in a year and uh, how difficult is this sport what are the level and kinds of injuries uh, are there certain things which are really fatal also so really fatal uh, comes only if you are on a unnatural kind of a diet otherwise in bodybuilding the flexibility exercises are required because you may not uh, rupture your muscles during the heavy weight trainings uh, you should be wearing a proper gear belt and the support is required fatal comes only when you are really on some bad diet or you are trying to push ups you are going to push up very high or strong which is uh, beyond your body limits with some unnatural things so that i don't advise otherwise normally we don't see any fatal uh, incidents happening a lot of times but they do happen sometimes so uh, game and sport is one thing obviously and uh, for bodybuilding you need to have good body and i don't think it is very unfortunate but uh, yes you need to have your bread and butter also so most of the times we link our sports with a job opportunity how well endowed bodybuilding is to provide you with a job what are the kind of opportunities that you have once you have a good body and you have participated in some tournaments again that uh, thing is very important to repeat again that if you are participating through the federations which is recognized by the uh, ministry of youth and sports affairs or those who are recognized federation by the government of india the job opportunities are you can say ample a lot of uh, opportunities which you can avail especially in the government field i let you know in this uh, field you can go for opportunities like crpf 
इनकम टैक्स रेलवे इंडियन पोस्ट कस्टम्स एंड सर्विसेज बोर्ड देर इज नथिंग विच इज लेफ्ट नाउ इवन द लोकल पुलिस नाउ एवरी स्टेट लोकल पुलिस दे आर इम्प्लॉइंग बॉडी बिल्डर्स आई जस्ट रिक्रूटेड फ्यू कॉन्स्टेबल्स इन राजस्थान पुलिस एंड दे आर कमिंग अप एंड बियॉन्ड दैट देन एवरी होटल हैज गॉट सम जिम्नेजियम स्पा good uh, gymnasium have come up where you can really get yourself employed then the good bodybuilders or the good personalities they can really go for uh, personal trainings there are a lot of money there's people are earning in personal training which is a good thing so if you say money wise it has now come up on a very good level so this is a good uh, professional sport wherein you can become a very good professionalist also so the money that you are pouring it doubles up for you once you will be having a very good health a very good physique for your lifetime i think you will be saving lot of money on diseases and illness because you will be well endowed and number 2 uh, there are lots of professional opportunities that are there yes absolutely correct because you will be if you are healthy first of all the body must be healthy if you are a healthy body then your mind will be healthy secondly opportunities i just told you there are ample opportunities in the government private sectors and personal trainings so there is no lack of uh, you can say opportunities anywhere and the most important thing is that if you are keeping yourself fit you are keeping yourself smart looking handsome i uh, that really boosts up your mental level too that gives you lots of confidence even if you go to any job or any Correct. sphere of life if you are well and out with your body that gives you an added advantage you want to stand out you don't want to like hide behind a curtain you want to come up on the stage and face the challenge correct so these are the the positives of it. yeah but there must be some negative some pitfalls what are the pitfalls how would like uh, if you want to like uh, guide the youngsters the youth what are the things that they should avoid i must tell you the youth i mean the beginners first of all they should start very slow a grassroots level you can start with your district championship after you prepare yourself well you can participate in the district champ. after district you can come to the state level after state level you can participate in zone championship there are four zones of india east west north south zones then you can come to the senior national junior national federation cup so opportunities wise you have got lot of opportunities but do not haste if you rupture your muscle the recovery of the muscle takes about 3 to 6 months which is a long time do a flexibility exercise do good warming up take a good nice sleep rest is very important in this thing and then diet comes up with a very important role so just don't go on the websites and uh, take the schedule of some very well known bodybuilder because every body dna is a different dna from the other body you can't say if that bodybuilders have become a bodybuilder by while taking this diet you too will be a bodybuilder taking that diet so a lot of differences are there you should be watchful and then the most important thing the youngsters should record their own program what is the progress they have done that is very important they do not maintain a diary they do not maintain a book their own progress their own measurements that is very important if they are not getting the good results they should either change the coach they should change their diet they should follow some new coach new diet new program ample of things available in india which you can really follow but do not get trapped by seeing the diets of the bodybuilders those who achieved because you may not be fit to take that diet too so go very slow and study and do not do a copycat thing since that you are coming from the federation we've sp- uh, spoken about the sport and i think inside out we've spoken about everything where does india stands in the world today when it comes to bodybuilding how good are our athletes when uh, we come to the international podium i'll just give you a few details about our last asian championship 2019 indonesia so india won about 8 gold medals 6 silver medals 10 bronze medal in the world championship which was in 2019 in korea 6 gold medals 13 silver medals 4 bronze medals we are standing at a very very good level now the sports has come up to a optimum level you can say and the countries uh, about 50 60 countries those who participating if we say we stand about a, at a good level thank you mr arvin modak it was really pleasure to host you and uh, i hope that our listeners definitely enjoyed and were benefited from this thank you so very much you're welcome sir thank you you just heard the second episode of a new series know your sports today mr arvin madok president of indian body building federation was in conversation with nitish aroda telling us about body building 
This broadcast came to you on the 24 into 7 channel of All India Radio Delhi. Please stand by for the next broadcast.